Do I still continue my series on TFTD on YouTube? I am, yes. I am, yes. I've got my, my YouTube day back so I can get back to recording and editing stuff on it. So there will be a continuation of both that and also RimWorld. I think RimWorld's been going up. <clears throat> I think that all got scheduled. And the World of Terrifying Silence will still be going on, yes. Waiting for those freaks on that. A bit of a long wait on that. It's a shame that the uh, the Martian battleship mission that's required to progress to get the alien bacon is apparently a little bit rare, but also named the exact same at first on the Geoscape. I really thought that was just another Soroso database mission going on. I was like, oh, that's strange. Because it wouldn't have been too awkward for these old missions to pop up. I mean, I actually just got a uh, Cult of Sirius. This is where I left off last recording. We're in the middle of a Cult of Sirius raid against like a weapons warehouse thing or whatever. So it wouldn't be too bizarre for these old missions to pop up if we're still getting Sorosil stuff. That was the ammo we just did, I think, right? For the concussion. <clears throat> Bit strange though. E. Something like, oh, 20 and 30 to the Middle East. South America can it maybe like 10 and 20? Nah, like apparently 12 and 20 because they're full. Fine. And New Zealand, as if you ever get a mission. 10 and 20, sure. And South America being full? Um. Hmm. Crew for August saved up for the, the ban me one day with the new price as well. Oh my god. Crew for Aga. F's in chat for Proof for Aga. <clears throat> also for my voice. Hmm. Seconds in a day, what was it, like 84,000 or something like that? 86,400. Man. Time out. Proofer. Oga? It's not recognizing you as the name. 86,400. Rest in peace, sir. Your sacrifice is most certainly in vain. Lamo? Did it did it work? Is he gone? I think I think he's gone. Okay, we got him. We got him, guys. <laughs> A mark that is completed. Oh, it's not actually in the reward queue anymore. Okay, never mind. Nice. Welcome to the club. Yeah, exactly. The timed out club. It's still weird that it just eliminates your entire existence in the chat logs. I wonder if it removes all the messages from just the stream or also VODs also. Probably just the stream. <sighs> Man. Um... I guess we can get rid of the... tank stuff. Since we've got the Enforcer suit, which is just fine. The hover tank I'll keep because that's like super duper, super duper defensive and strong and stuff. I think Aquaplastic Armor we're also pretty much done with because we got everything else that can also work under, uh, underground, underwater. We'll sell the old axe. It's not the boom box, it's okay. A Photonic Blade is what we got. 1.6 million bucks for a Photonic Blade. It's made of light. Who honestly, unironically uses Twitch emotes in and outside of Twitch chat like Pog and such? Yeah, absolutely. Pog Champ and LOL. Sometimes Craigasm, if I remember what it's called. Absolutely. Snubnose pistols, gross. Still need to eventually make the switch to turbo laser with everything. Just like. The laser works just as well. The lasers, it's not like laser has small magazines. They they hold a 
bunch of ammo, so it's never like ammo's an actual concern. Bit of a strange, strange step from Lazy to Turbolizer. Bit odd. Plasma pistol, UAC, SMG can go. Hunting rifle? Why was this not auto sold? Ugh. I mean, in just the tanks being sold, that's still 33 space back, so that's generally fine. Alien laser cannon, the clip. Heavy laser clip, we keep that. That's all fine. That's all okay. So we'll leave it at that, and then transfer back down. The rest of the concussion stuff. Okay, and we got a snapping turtle on standby, Middle East with the lightning. That couldn't reach the moon, apparently. So we'll have to see about getting that sorted. South America with their land rover in case we get another undercover mission. Although I'm not sure if I'm ever going to bother with that again. It definitely wasn't worth the time or effort. It's mostly just a point preventative thing, which... Ugh. It was like 700 points, wasn't it? Man... Yeah, maybe they came in a crit, I don't know. Could be. We still do an Illyrium recycling. Not really. And if I were to make more stuff, we got 300 Illyrium. Not a lot. Enough to get by, certainly. Uh, laser cannon, that's what I'm after. It's enough to get by. If I, were for, if I were to transfer that. Okay, we got another 500 in storage. So we got about 800 Illyrium, which is an okay amount. I'd like to have a bit more than that because it goes by pretty fast as a fuel source. What the point of the radar crafts are. Uh, just scouting? I guess if you're doing like a one base challenge or so, I I don't know. I just send a fighter escort because they've got the they've got a radar range too. But I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe looking for alien bases, but they're super easy to spot with just anything. Their locations are usually pretty obvious. And that's all that. New potential stun weapon. And then a very small ethereal order. A lot of ethereal order stuff happening nowadays. Not sure what really triggered it or if it's just RNG finally kicking in. Hey, how you doing, Valkyrie? Welcome, welcome. <sighs> Ugh, and that's why I just used the one cannon. So annoying, these are done in lots of 60. Large scout floater for harvest. I guess I'll shoot that down too. No! Oh well. Oh, okay. You think the, the clinic logs kicked it all off? I mean, it could be. The, the timing kind of coincides. You, you finish off most of the hybrid stuff and... And suddenly just getting swarmed by Ethereal Order. It could be. The Ethereal Sentinel, teaching us about the alien and envoy. From time to time, aliens send their envoys to Earth per to perform missions, usually diplomatic, of great relevance. For this purpose, special vessels are used, distinguished from others by their golden hull. 
Passengers of these ships are of critical importance to us. Capturing them alive and interrogating them is a priority. You've taught me after I've already captured them live, taken out the golden UFO, which only ever comes like once or twice, and have also researched a few of them. So thanks for that. Good timing. Not a whole lot you can do. We've got South America needs to transfer over to the Middle East that photonic blade. Because we don't have the lab to look at it there. Or here, rather. We're working on the ultimate craft. The ethereal speaker. Uh, moon satellite, I guess. Sure. Mm. And you just exist. Doing good, just woke up, had a long Factorio night. Oh, nice. What brought on Factorio? Just, uh, got the itch for it? Modded vanilla. Or did an update happen? Could be an update happened also. Oh, yeah. Neural whip also. That's right. That was also a thing. Neural whip. The ethereal speaker Adobe Dolby Atmos compatible? Probably not, no. I don't think so. You gotta go for you gotta go with Bose for that. Though other brands are available. Sinister Clinic, I guess we'll do that. We'll do that with New Zealand, because they haven't done anything in a long while. They don't have any shrapnel though. Um They don't have any bla blazer. Blaster. They do have a blaster launcher and some bombs, though, if you want to waste some malarium on that. Well, I say waste. It's nice and cathartic. It's got a niche for it. Okay. Playing it modded with Crestorio 2. Okay, yeah, I saw a little bit of Crestorio 2 once when Exeli was streaming it. It looks actually pretty good. Some of the modded stuff is like, I'm going to make everything a much more ball-like, but Crestorio seems to kind of find, at least for most of the stuff, a bit of a balance. Starting off a bit sucks, but it looks like it picks up pretty good. Could be something that I'd check out one day, maybe. Probably not on stream, though. Streaming Factorio was an experience. It'd be nighttime. Are we, are we all right with that? Probably. We got pretty good night vision with the armor. So, who wants to blow up all the things? I'm just gonna just spam tab, look over at chat and stop hitting tab at some point. How many plasma grenades will we ever use realistically? Realistically, like none. I think a lot of them I already did recycle. Every base just has like a couple dozen or so. Hey, it's Guru, congrats. That's not the blaster launcher. I think we just have like 10 to 30 at each base, but all the ones in storage I think we recycled already, because I think it was two Illyrium per. So, also worth doing it. Hey, how you doing, Zircrom? The concussion cannon was pretty inaccurate. Its range was okay. Pretty inaccurate, though. It's like a shotgun type thing, so I don't know what to think of it. We'll bring it along. We'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. And then some people for melting, some people with dart weapons. Eh. How about that? Is that okay? I think that's okay. As soon as the music gets really cringy. <laughs> uh, quick, move on! Go, go, go! A 23% aimed shot. Snapshot from that distance, yeah, not as good. So aim shot's the way to go. Okay, and it's just a one-shot... One-shot shotgun type thing. It's really quiet. I don't know why it's so quiet. Especially since it's a sonic weapon, I expected it to blow the headphones off of my head. 
But that's okay. I'm glad it didn't. Been up half the night with a vomiting wife, and now you pretend to care about databases. So in short, grumpy. Aw, oh, sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully it gets better for you and your wife soon. Dang. Would would blowing up a, a clinic with a blaster bomb help any? Would that would that help you out? If I can rip a hole into the side of this thing, we can see about doing that. I don't know if Cav can uh There you go. There's 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 a way in. That's that's okay. You're a bit in the way now. So next turn, I suppose. We'll blow him up for you, Zircrum. This first blaster bomb's for Zircrum. Don't don't fuck it up too much, okay? Nose is a bit runny today. Maybe I'm maybe I'm getting something too. Something's going around. I say in the middle of a pandemic. Fucking duh, of course something's going around, Yeti. No, not like that. I mean, like... Ugh, still out. I just don't want you to wing to the, uh... Wing the ship there. We'll give it another turn. That dude's still out over here? Yeah, okay. Not that we just barely got him knocked over or so. Just in case it can actually go up elevators or so. I don't think it can, but I never know. I expected a little more, but you know what? The clinic's in trouble. That It did some damage. It'll make the next one a lot easier. Also, hello. It's really quiet. It's a sound effect that I would have expected the, um... What heavy sniper rifle was it that- Was it the tactical sniper rifle that had a really wimpy sound effect that I was like, well, this is pathetic sounding because it was just the standard rifle shot sound? <laughs> this is what I expected that to sound like. Alyssa, hello, hello. How you doing? Yeah, I don't know what the zero was from the blaster, but I'm going to ignore it. I assume it's just like some dude just on the, the edge of the explosion. Maybe the shield took it. I don't know. And next turn. Concussion cannon, though. I mean, if it hits, it hits, which is really nice. It seems like it's enough to take them out fairly easily through their purple shield. Keeping in mind, that's the purple shield, which, if I remember rightly... Uh, ...is resistant from stun, yeah. Best protection from stun. And we're just, like, ripping right through it. Typically, they didn't check stream start an hour before and be late 15 minutes from the start. 30 minute, okay, fine. Ah. <laughs> Oh, daylight savings gets here or something, or does it just, like, slip your mind? I mean, how dare you not show up on time? What are you, what are you doing? Man. Carlos, Carlos, what are you doing? Man. Blaster bomb number two. Are we okay just to throw it inside, or are they mostly outdoors now, or... Kinda up a little bit? We'll see about setting it up inside. Ooh. 
Whoa, where's it going? Oh, jeez. Right in through here. Good fucked. We'll actually say like... Like that kind of a weird angle and then up in. Yeah, all right. I'm thinking they're mostly on the rooftop by now. Uh, or just or just out here standing around. Bang. God, what a terrible sound. You know what it reminds me of, actually? It reminds me of one of the explosion sound effects from 3D Movie Maker. Did anybody ever play 3D Movie Maker back in the day? It sounds like one of the explosion sound effects from that. Man, 3D Movie Maker was, like, the best. There was one of those little hidden cards that my brother and I could never find. We were always missing just one. And I think it was supposed to give you, when you got all of them, the, uh, like a little behind the scenes, like, oh, here's this cute little video of the developers and stuff. Never unlocked it, though. I was hoping it unlock um well, Mick Z, I think it was, right? Mick Z is the as an actor that you could put down. Sadly no. If you're up here, we're going to find you. No? Yeah, screw that one guy. <laughs> Maybe two dudes. Nice. What a what a sight this is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the 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 rats film and there were a lot of films back then about those. Well, not back then. I mean, after after Google Video and YouTube and all that. A lot of that stuff kicking around nowadays still. Some of them are actually in like 60 frames per second too. It's really weird. It's really weird to see that because the whole game operated at like... I don't think it was even quite 15 frames. I think it was like 12 frames per second. It was just the game. <laughs> so you're making these really shitty low frame rate videos. But once you learned how to start and stop animations at certain points and you could interrupt animations in the middle of another animation... Uh, really a, really a game changer. Man. Good times. Could actually do, like, proper jump kicks with people and stuff, and roundhouse kicks were a bit of a maneuver to do, but you could do it. The MIDI music. Some of the music was just like, oh my god, so bad. The... The really heroic music gets stuck in my head <laughs> pretty easily. I'll just randomly have that. It was like a seven second long song, but in all the templates and stuff that they'd give you, like the pre-done movies, they'd always have it looping for some reason. <laughs> so it was just looping the seven second thing in the background the entire time. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into with a fucking blaster bomb detonating these corpses of dudes. Nah, let's just... Let's just get this guy. We'll troll him a little bit. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. We're coming for you. Bonus points if it hits that corner. Nah, it didn't. Alright, there's still... There's still a lot of them sleeping. I mean... 
We didn't kill them all. I don't remember if they were actually worth points to capture live. Helicopter kick isn't difficult, you just need the flexibility and some practice. Practice Hapkaido for five years before your knees started giving you too much trouble. I mean, in 3D Movie Maker, you just, you just go for it. You, you do a jumping animation. Ideally, you skip a little bit at the beginning of the jump animation because they kind of do a little bit of a squat. So you skip the first few frames, so they just go right into the jump. You start the turn, you throw off the jumping animation with the kick animation. And you just gotta, you just gotta turn them manually, slowly enough over time. It, it took some doing. You gotta know how to interrupt animations, though. I mean, I, although, sure. Geez, XCOM soldiers do that all the day. Helicopter kick grenades across the building and pass them to each other with, with roundhouse kicks and cartwheel kicks and wheelbarrow kicks, whatever that is, and... Just, just all the things. They do all the things. What do you think they go to martial arts training for? Passing grenades. That's it. That's exactly it. Still a couple of them hiding in the smoke. I'm surprised they're not just bleeding out and dying. There's actually a lot of them still in there. Hold on. We got another blaster bomb? Just like one more? Maybe? Or, or a shrapnel? I don't think we have any shrapnel anymore. Damn, we're really out? Damn. Alright. Well, let's get some pulse in there, because pulse is always a pretty good bet. I mean, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you stunned him so hard his body vanished. Poor guy. There's another one hiding in the smoke somewhere up there. Watch out for it. Or maybe upstairs on the floating floor. Yeah, a couple more there. A few more. They must have been hiding beneath tables or something. I don't know. Local XCOM unit wipes out 500 delirium and $5 million worth of ordnance, wiping out a local human cult. It comes up short during actual alien attack. News at 11. Well, you say local human cult. I mean, this is just completely innocent gene therapy clinic. This is like us just wiping out a new hospital that sprung up in town. We're just like, nope. Not allowed. So it's actually so much worse. <laughs> That's okay. If they want the money to pay for it all, that's that's fine. We got the money. We've got that, Dosh. Do do people still say Dosh? Is that a is that a thing? Am I relevant still or would you hit the floor? There's, there's another one still somewhere. Guru, see if you can intimidate them with the blaster launcher. Maybe melee them with it? I don't know. Oh, okay, never mind. I surrendered. Two more left. We got eight of them live for only 92 points, though, so not even really worth taking live. Some reproduction managed to survive somehow. Dexoteric, five accuracy, four on Spider Scribe. Two on Carlos Carlos. Good deal. Uh, rip those apart. And you guys give actually nothing more. Not even any flavor stuff. Nah, we've even done all the flavor stuff with them. At least they sell okay, but... Meh. You know, 
war crimes plural is the command. Yeah, I'll have to make more blaster bombs too. That's okay though. You still got the good stuff. Exterminator plus two health, Executioner plus two stamina, Multi-Killer plus one time unit, plus one accuracy and strength probably for the first one. Still works. Still works. Good job, New Zealand. Well done. Neural weapon. Photonic Blade. And the farm will uh, make blaster bombs. Five Illyrium per. So let's go with... I don't know, just get like a hundred, that's okay. Ah, another chakram thing. Um, I mean, this ended up being like really easy to do. The last one I said I wasn't going to do. This one, I guess I can do. I I suppose. Hey, PTX with 145 bits, much appreciated. More ad bits, I assume. Thank you much. How you doing today? I guess make some laser cannons. For just like the four hours while we wait for the stuff to transfer. And then yeah, um, Middle East, I guess we'll do it. I guess. The Iron Fist. Turns out robots were allowed, but I'm not gonna bring robots, we're gonna bring people. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Uh. Dreamscape things. The end of last stream, Hateable Vermin, I brought robots, I brought dogs to turn them into werewolves, werewolves that have missing sprites because the sprite sheet has some very, very obvious gaps in it, and then I also brought a rat, and the rat actually is just a rat. But robots, turns out, have gender, and they dream of being humans. They don't have their little blade, though. Kind of strange. Kind of wild. And armor-wise, threw that all out. Oh, storage space. Mm. Uh. Uh. Well, no, keep the coats. The 13 enforcers is a big part of it. Is that enough? Nah, we're still like four over. Oh, that's a large part of it. Okay, cool. Job's done. Dreamscape journey. Do, 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 do. So, uh, if you have, why is tab not working? Why is it just Raleigh? Oh, this is a different mission. This isn't the big... Oh, are you good? Uh, not really. This is a different mission. <laughs> I thought this was the big group. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, sonic strength and firing accuracy for the Storm Rose. accuracy sonic strength and accuracy uh so 
40. That's not great. I think we just go. Oops. <laughs> Yeti didn't read what the mission was. <laughs> ah, well. Ah, uh, that happens. Moon satellites done. As the Ellen invasion intensifies, it becomes critical to track down their insidious activity, insidious rather, on Luna. Casual observation of the moon from Earth is unlikely to bring the results soon enough, so we need to do we need to be more proactive. I still can't read. A natural solution would be to deploy a modified spy satellite to orbit the moon and watch for any alien activity. With our resources, the launch won't be an issue, but the satellite's design will be a bit of a challenge. We need to equip it with the most advanced detection technology of alien origin. Fine. Satellite launch supply we can purchase. Okay. Sure. Uh... Hyperwave decoder miniaturization. Fine. That was for blaster bombs. Yeah, nothing to really research anywhere. Uton supply ship. I can reach you. Where are you going, actually? Okay, yeah, you are going that way. You're just taking a a strange route. Ugh. Go, go, go! We do have decrypted keys, yes. We can do an alien embassy pretty much whenever. Not really sure which one I want to do first, though. And I kinda want to wait to have the adventure just so we got it. Because I'm thinking we're well on our way to being able to not only research that, but also build it basically right away, you know? I think you get the funding back from the nation when you blow up the embassy. I would imagine so, yeah. Um, Lore-wise, limiting embassies was because the key will only work once or so, because we, like, we intercept their... They basically have, like, an authenticator, like a key authenticator, so we intercept the signal and we can put in the key. But when we do that, whether we succeed or fail, the aliens will know and they'll change up the entire situation. So we have to then get another key to try again. Um, that that's that's the lore, I think. If if I'm not wrong on that. So because of that, you can only do two, maybe three, if you're very lucky, embassies. Or rather, attempt that many times. Not even just simply do them, but even just attempt them. Because if I were to do, I have the one decrypted key. If I were to fail, I lose that key. And that's it, that's all. Then we have to get another key. Which, uh, pretty rare. It's not the best design, and Finnick had said that he recommended other things, because Finnick's the one who helped out with a lot of this mod. Helped out Solarius with it all. Um, had recommended alternative ways of making that all work and happen, to make it a little more good. But Solarius turned it all down, because Solarius wants it this way. 
I'm not hugely sure why. I'm a little bit tempted to do the Mutant Supply Ship to see if maybe they still got Illyrium left. It'd be good to stockpile that stuff, especially if we got the Avenger soon. I'll take a look. We just have to redo all of this. Yeah, this and this is like way out of date. Okay. Well, heavy weapon platform ammo. Um, the dart rifles and stuff, I guess so. Sure. Look through laser weaponry. Get some of that on. Do turbo lasers. Hydro laser is a bit of a joke. Alien laser is a bit of a joke. Turbo laser sniper. Heavy laser with ammo. And then heavy turbo laser. Scatter turbo laser. Nice. And then gals for the kinetic side of things. A couple snipers. We don't really have a whole lot of actual kinetic gauss stuff. Mass driver, we got some sniper rifles still kicking around. We're using kinetic less and less, though. And then the... Sonic. For concussive. Rifles. Cannons for pretty much everybody. And then concussion stuff. Yeah. Never use anything other than Gauss cannons. They can just you can just buy their ammo. For the for the ships. Oh yeah, I see. What Arkanoman's saying. Burned out your Illyrium supply, not realizing that plasma cannons would need a full stack of Illyrium 115 to recharge despite shooting only one shot. Yeah. The Gauss does that also. Like it's got a magazine of 60 on the ship, but if you fire just one bullet, it's just like, okay, well, screw that clip, and they just, they discharge it into the ocean or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird, but yeah, with the, um, yeah, with plasma, that's a, that's a good point. I wouldn't have thought about that. I would have wondered where the hell all of our Illyrium 115 was going from the reloads. Bit of EMP. Bring some more along. I guess the Siamp. Although the regular Siamp I never really used. The multi-face was kind of nice because it works through walls, but the range is a lot worse. Mind probes, not really going to be using them this mission. Med kits, more of those. Yeah, there's the decrypted alien embassy key. We just got the one. And then armor, if you are accurate, have a flying suit. Otherwise, have power armor. And if you're a robot, become an enforcer. And if you're a rat, sit in the corner and be cute. Okay. We joked about building slash buying one bullet at a time, but it actually would help with the craft cannons. It would really, uh, that's very true. <laughs> We're taking the piss, but actually, hmm. and we'll do that in the morning then. Yeah, a little bit longer. Iron Fist is kind of fast. Hey, the ultimate craft, the Avenger. Transport and combat spacecraft, the ultimate replication of alien technology. Two beams, a heavy missile, and a shield. Max speed 5,400. Acceleration 10, max range 26,800. Illyrium field, of course, four pods. 1,200 damage capacity, 26 cargo space, four pilots, and four heavy weapon platforms. God damn. Field capacity 60. Refuel rate 2, repair rate 35. So that's nice. It's done in, in lots of two at a time. Not like it's refuel rate 30 or something like that. Alright, so we'll start building that. Um. Next up, I guess... 
I am more curious about the whip and blade. Just to see what they are. They're both a little bit difficult. And then get some dudes and just advent trooper for the combat analysis? I guess so. We can now make an adventure, which I will do. At the farm. Ah, uh, <laughs> I need a, uh, hanger 17. <clears throat> Didn't think it'd come to this, but here we are. And a corridor. Oh yeah, it requires all sorts of stuff for that, doesn't it? Ah oh, well. All right. We can just sell snapping turtles. Don't want to. I'll sell this one, but in the future we'll just we'll have stuff here at the hangar and I can transfer off stuff and quickly buy an undercover vehicle whenever I need that, cause man, those fucking undercover missions. What a what a ball ache. Um but yeah, this 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 one we're gonna have to sell off. Cause I don't wanna be waiting for like a month to start making the Avenger. I need 120 alloys and an electronic. Jeez, you're quick, man. Hang out for a second. Jeez. Right, and there was also a clinic in Cairo. So we can maybe do that immediately after if it's still around. I don't know. Um... Enemy. Muton combat analysis, because I'll never remember. And nothing regarding plasma, kinetic, or concussive. So heavy laser, scatter laser, um, that that's all fine. So yeah, sonic cannons okay, and you can have a, a heavy turbo laser, or actually, turbo laser sniper rifle is probably better for the accurate people. Couple pulse. Sonic cannons, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a concussive cannon, I suppose. Hmm. A couple of those, a few of those. Mad kits need noble on. That's all the noble on. Okay, I'm sure it's fine. Hey, I doing King Skink. The purple diamond ship is the Snapping Turtle. There is also the Viper, but the Snapping Turtle is like a big brother variant of it. It's got a second story and interest. The first mission we did with it, it parked itself in such a spot that we couldn't actually leave. So th that was interesting. I I I got a kick out of that.
armor that preserves sanity at some point, or is Nobelon a permanent fixture? As far as I know, Nobelon is a permanent thing. It would be nice to make a sort of suit that's got like a contained, you know, gas thing in there to help maintain your sanity. So just like every turn it gives you back like two sanity, like not a lot, but a little bit just to offset. So very small and smalls is kind of whatever, which is to help you maintain the big stuff. But the counter against it is just having enough sanity to get through everything. Is what they're going for, because some people can get like well over a hundred. All right, Pedro, um, back on, because Mr. Cannon with a trillion accuracy has got your number. Phew. Only look like a couple projectiles hit. Damn. That wasn't him. That was no pistol. Maybe. A rifle? Maybe. Okay. We'll try again. Bam. Sonic cannon right in its gut. Snapshot 39%. Not the best, but just good enough. Took out his elbow. Alright. Let's uh let's head up topside, how about? Get a couple people up here and uh and all that. Stimulants in the med kit to get sanity. You know, that'd be really cool too. Because the Nobleon just... Why don't you have a weapon? Okay. Um, the Nobleon just has the few uses. So, like, it'd be cool to have an advanced med kit that's also got some form of sanity restoring drug in it. Maybe it restores it a little bit better at a nicer conversion rate between health and all that, because the current stuff hurts so much. I don't have an extinguisher on. I always forget that. Well, you'll be okay. It'll take a few turns, you'll be out though. Or just the one. Uh, almost. I. <clears throat> I guess. Yikes. These Pedro aren't doing so hot. Who else do we got? Oh, he's back up. Flop. Set back down. Yee. Not a lot of reason to go around the back side like this, unless there's a couple of them outside opposite to end. But our flying dudes could probably spot that if that's the case. Yeah, I don't know. The Nobleon hurts like a lot too. I guess that's like Sanity's purpose is to be the time limit. So you can't you can't use the same people on every single mission and just steamroll through and take your time also at the same time. You have to go kind of quick with different people who have a lot of sanity, so presumably also well-trained. While you're on the mission, you can't be chugging so much Noble on because your dudes might eventually just pass out and die. Um, it's just, it's so many, it wants to be so many things at once and ends up just being a, a really big nuisance. I, I get the point. I just, I, I really think it's just done in like the worst possible way.
It, it all it needs to be is just your sanity is really low. Therefore, when your bravery is affected negatively, it gets affected a lot. When somebody's really on edge, it's easy to make them freak out. Done. Simple. That's it. That's literally it. That's it. The end. It doesn't have to be anything else. So if you're taking a while on a mission, it's more and more likely that if it starts going wrong, you're going to get fucked and people will start going berserk. That's literally all it needs to be. And then you've got a mechanic that's at least a little bit interesting that's not completely insane. And it doesn't require you to eat something every few turns to maintain. Ah, right, there's the door. Oh, it's just like, was there a door up here? Yeah, it's, it's here. Okay. It's usually clear, but we'll go in anyway. And we need more damage than that to rip through. What was it we used to rip through before? Thorgum? It was the Mass Driver Sniper Rifle, right? The Gal Sniper, that's right. The Gal Sniper with somebody accurate was enough to punch through generally to get in. So Thorgum, you're our breach once we're in that upper story to get into the ship proper. Because we're going to scout that out and it's probably going to be empty. Or is something into XCOM which is not a tactical game? You say XCOM's not a tactical game? Or am I reading that wrong? For what you're saying, King Skink, like, if you're on edge when you're assaulting a battleship the first time, but eventually it's gonna get old, so you become desensitized to it. For that, it'd have to be a system that affects people until they get a commendation, like, oh, you've done a, you've done this particular mission, which is, you know, a crashed battleship, or a landed battleship, or an alien base, or just, you know, all these more intense missions. When you've done them a few times, then you get this commendation that increases some stat to some point where it no longer matters, but I don't think there's a way to change it otherwise. So you're just going to have a dude who suddenly just has this insane amount of some stat that prevents it from uh, being a thing. Like in our case, it'd be just sanity where it just gives you like, oh, here's 500 sanity for your guy because you're desensitized or so. Or maybe you can make it a little bit granular, granular than that, where it's just, you know, every few missions that you do, you get like plus 10 sanity or so. It'll still break eventually, but it's going to take a lot more. Maybe that'd work. Oh, the sanity mechanic and general time limit, not a good mecha mechanic in any tactical game. Gotcha. Yeah, I thought I might have been reading that wrong, because if you're going to say this isn't a tactical game... Uh, I raise an eyebrow to that. Ah. But yeah, time limits and stuff... Not really, yeah. They don't, they don't have a huge amount of place in, in games like this. It's a way to force a little bit of stress onto the player. It has its place, I would say. I'm not going to say that it's bad in all strategy games as like a really cop-out way to, uh, you know, put some sort of tension or fear into the player. I think it's got its place. I like the way that War of the Chosen does it. Where it's a time limit that's a little bit tight, but there's things that you can do during the mission that make it a little bit easier, and it ties into the lore in some way. It's got a point, it's got a purpose, it, it has a reason to exist in a way, it, it makes sense generally. You know? I still stand by that you want to be making games like this and balancing around the fact that people are probably just going to be playing, be playing it for a couple hours after work. Like, keep keep that in mind, that mindset, keep that in mind. 
I think it's actually impossible for you to break through this, even with the greatest roll ever, with the highest amount of accuracy possible. Uh. Nice. Wow. In a way, we just one-shot a muton. Time limits not starting until the squad's revealed by default would be would be really good. I quite like that as a uh, as a thing that was just on all the time. Oof. Good thing you can't aim. You suck. You had one job. <laughs> you chose auto fire and fucked it. Ah. Get somebody who's actually a bit good at mitigation up in there, yeah? And this, with its snapshot, means that you can react with it. I, I really hated the time limit. Like, the worst possible thing with the time limit is when it's tuned in such a way that you have to go as far as you can, as fast as you can, and ignore everything. Because sometimes in XCOM 2, that was the case. You get a really poopy map gen, and it's just like, okay, we got a hack a device that's on a train, we have four turns to get there. We're in the bottom corner, the train is on the top corner. The train's got two patrols around it, and there's another patrol between you and the train. You have to beeline sprint there with every single person, every single turn, sometimes opting out of cover and ignoring everything along the way to get to the train, ignoring the dudes when you get to said train, and just hack the device, and then deal with the entire map being pulled all at the same time. That's worst case scenario, and that happened a few times to me. So that's when I was just like, okay, fuck this time limit thing. This is garbage. That was so aggravating and annoying, because it's like, no matter how good I play, I I can't I can't do it. It's it's pro it's so prohibitive to gameplay. That was really yucky. But again, War of the Chosen fixed that. What's your accuracy? What? 90? Jeez. Let's give it to Barbatus or so then, I guess. Man, you must be doing like just under the damage amount. We're just sitting here waiting to breach in. 114 on Trissy. Yeah, 114 on Barbatus. I'd both of them will work. Jeez. Jeez, I mean, I think we're okay just to walk in now. Because it's going to be the main dude and a couple turrets. There. That's all it took. You can have my old rifle. Speaking of, I need something for the turret still. I don't know if we have EMPs on. Stack of Pancakes has one. But that's it. Uh, you guys wanna grab some more? You're just kind of sitting out in case there's some anything else coming by, but now I could use a mule. So you guys get to be on turret duty. Rats. Sniper rifles do have a minimum rage penalty. Yeah, they do. Like, yeah, I want to say it's like 15 tiles or something like that. Yeah, 15 for this guy. Which affects you a pretty decent amount, but it's not the end of the world. If you're accurate enough to be using the weapon, it's likely not going to affect you so much that you miss every shot ever. And we break in through this wall. Take out the dude. Because ideally, I don't even need to take out the turrets. I think I have to. But ideally, I don't. It would be super cool if you could just avoid doing the turrets. 
briefly popping in to go off and bull you some ooh pierogi nice don't die too hard god hopefully not <laughs> hopefully not it's my first time doing it this way hello muton And we're okay here. Wait, you also see it from here? What a weird angle that is. That's such a weird angle. If we had a smoke grenade or something, I would I would try that and just blind fire with a really accurate dude. <laughs> Man. Uh Yeah, I need you guys here. Yeah, it's definitely Muton sitting in there with the two turrets. Hi. Precision. Um, if he's precision. Would have been great to bring this Siam. I should bring the Siam for this also. Don't have it. Fall back a bit. Because you've got so many time minutes and reactions that for him to retaliate, it wouldn't be easy for him. But it looks like we do have to do the turrets here, so... Well, that's to be a bit expected, though. Um, I'm just kind of hang out. Stack of pancakes working his way up. 280% accuracy? Yeah, no, that, that's correct. Well, 208. 216. We we have had quite high accuracy though before, yeah, it's but that's possible. Then it'll just take one touch to bring it down if that wasn't enough. And the other EMP for the other turret that's around this corner that I think I want to shoot through the wall to reveal. Not there. Was it further down? Ah. Just there. So just past the table then, that wall. So yeah, break in, take out the dude. Yeah, right in line, just past that table. Gotcha. Oh, hey. I have so many people down there, nobody saw them. I guess you were turned away. There we go. Cool. Problem solved. Uh, no navigation. A little bit of Illyrium. Not a lot. But hey, a little bit, and that's mostly why we did it. Also, 618 points is quite okay. But I think with our weapons, we can pretty easily do a supply ship and got- I think we got those on farm status now. The Thurls could still be a bit of a trick, but with his concussion cannon and their gold shield and all that, not doing so great against stun, shouldn't be a problem. Mm. 
we are again, we're like the fourth time at the point where I feel like we're kind of a little bit unstoppable. It's a weird feeling to have in this that I feel like the player shouldn't ever really have. But hey ho, here we are. Okay, and they'll need a little bit of time to recover sanity, but... I think we go right away down to the clinic. See if it's still around in the morning. Yo. Same-ish deal. Except Thorgum gets a weapon this time. I know, pretty wild. It seems alright though. And then let's see about getting Noble on on everybody because some of you are pretty low. Probably spend the first turn just popping a Noble on and putting it in your quick draw slot. Never mind. Hey, it's the Wino Dino! Nice! <laughs> uh, so, hello everybody. How are we doing uh, today? Yeah. Nephilia needs some sanity. Oh. Nice sweeping shot. We parked like damn near on top of the clinic again. It's a real problem being this close. You also need some noble on. Just melt and turn to ash while we can on the first turn here. What do you see? Fall back. Edible vermin. sort of like the worst possible starting spot, honestly. Our back open to where they all are. Hundred twenty two percent snapshot. Man. It's pretty good. It's a good accuracy. All right. Pop that. Hateable Vermin is also quite low, but you'll manage for a little bit. What a turn, huh? Man. Good work, everybody. Look out for grenades and such. Jeez. Mm-hmm. 
really like to remove whatever is here so we can step there and move out of the way with people. <sighs> Our bodies head upstairs. fly up a lot in case they throw a grenade. Trissy, same deal with you. Okay. There's your sanity basically back up to normal. They're going to be in hospital for a little bit, but that's okay. They're not in for long. Everyone else just step back away from the doors. I don't want them to be encouraged to throw grenades in at us or anything like that. It would make me very sad to lose everything. From over a building. Dude, I would have screamed if I was him. I would have been like, fucking what? I guess the balcony there, maybe. I don't know. They're already going berserk though on turn two. That feels good. The ship would be pretty bad if it didn't face such crap enemies with such good weapons and armor. Yeah, no, this is a, a... A horrible ramp system for this ship. It's really not good. I don't understand why doors are so difficult. But it makes it too easy for the player. So force the player off the ship. Quit parking them in the middle of everything and quit having the enemies so aggressive that they just charge you all the time. Easy peasy. Man. We're coming in. And Trissy doesn't even need to see you. I need to take a blind aim shot and still have a 104% chance to hit you. Really just getting in close just as a formality. Da, 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 da. Gliding by the windows. The hell was that? <laughs> what, what are those, the floaters? Nope. Not floaters. Don't even see what's happening, but well done. Iron Fist looks so much like the Avenger, because it is the Avenger, just a bit fatter. Or as Han said, it looks like it looks like a water bottle that somebody drove over. Which is absolutely true. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> it's just a water bottle on the side of the road that some truck drove over. And we're like, you know what? I like the look of that. And we took it. And here we are. Oh, hello. They're trying to hide behind a glass door and window, but hey, it actually almost worked, so... Oh, there's that. Okay, six of them surrendered. Holy shit. Wow, what a massacre. Well done. There's some more logs. Definitely don't need them anymore, though. Paranoid checking, making sure. Lacking a bit of noble on, we can make some more, though. Cannoneer? I guess a sonic cannon, huh? Alright. Sure. A 
on the clinics who've been just throwing two Tritinia rockets at them at the start and called it good. Oh yeah, that absolutely works. I was doing that for a while too. Because we had a mission light that where we started right next to it. And with all the enemies inside, they're just pouring out and falling on top of us. It was miserable. So the next time I was like, fuck it. I'm going with shrapnel rockets. We just been leveling the clinics. But in doing so, we did so much damage, we destroyed the clinic logs somehow, which I needed for progression. So <laughs> we we wasted quite a lot of time with that. But man, did it feel good. Um, The farm. When the alloys are done. Oh, when the alloys are done, you're going to work on the Avenger. I was going to say work on some noble. Maybe I still do a little bit of noble on. That'll be okay. It won't take very long. And you can make 877,966. We'll call it 42. Three hours worth. Bang. A third world speaker is done. Didn't teach us anything though, apparently. Fine. Satellite launch supply arrived to the farm as well. Noble Lawn's done, so now you can work on the... Avenger. Yeah, fine. Two days, 12 hours. Hybrid control center detected. Hybrid control center. This underground area is run by the hybrid's master controllers. We must learn how the hybrid network really functions. Okay. I think you're sitting on five logs, actually. I think you already researched or am researching them. You only need the one, I think. Just to learn about the infiltration for clones, I think it was, is the main thing. Um, yeah, hybrid control center should be easy. I'm going to just head out straight away with what we've got. Throw on some AI units as enforcers. Senior agent. Everybody else is wounded from the noble on consumption. Oh, so, yeah. We'll bring Wex as well. I don't know, maybe. Seeing through walls could help out a little bit. We got Psyamps and stuff. Go with that. Um, put Wex in the back a little bit, though. And I'll take a quick break. Get a little bit of water. Check on the cat. I think it's still sleeping, but still. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that, then. Iron Fist away. Don't really know what to expect with this. I don't remember any sort of lore or anything with this, and it's not an undercover mission, which is a little bit strange to me, because a lot of the later on hybrid stuff seems to be a little bit undercover and stuff, because hybrids are, well, you know, part human. Like, they're integrated into society and stuff. It's like the Thin Men, kind of, is how I imagine them. The Thin Men from XCOM. So in order for us to really stop them, we have to be undercover, so XCOM, you know, doesn't blow its cover. Because we're still totally, like, you know, secret and, and stuff. <clears throat> Robots, I think. Scatter laser. I think is a pretty safe bet for them. It's easy, it's a nice way to train up accuracy. They don't have the reactions anyway to actually react and shoot stuff, so they don't need anything else. So that's okay. Pulse LMG as well. Fine. Leffler, however, is actually quite accurate. 105 accuracy. You can have you can have a Gauss sniper rifle if you'd like, actually. Fine by me. And Blizzard Wake. Bow, bow. Oh, this, is, this kid gets slam dunked upon and during a base uh, baseball match? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I know sports. Fuck you. Man. It's the, uh, you know, the basketball scrums. You know how it is. Tough times. A little bit of laser sniper, scatter laser, a little bit of sonic cannon. We got noble on for people who actually need noble on. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Medkits? Yeah, some. 
Yeah, some. All right, go for it. And it looks to be... Looks to be a standard base thing. Not many levels to it. Just the two starting spots. Looks fine. We'll take a peek. Hey! <laughs> those doors were lying. Did you see that, those doors? They got the down arrows and everything, and they're like, oh yeah, they opened that. Ah, just kidding, they open upward. The hell? Somebody could trip. He could get caught in that somehow and die. This is the, uh, hybrid control facility? What was the button for that? J K L U I O P Z T. I don't know. I think it was hybrid control facility. Control B. Uh, right. B for Boverview. Yeah, hybrid control center assault. Learn how the hybrid network really functions. Secure it for examination. Mm. It was new to Lithriandrel as well, so... Could have been one of the newer missions that were added. Although I thought 1.6 added a lot of just the MIB stuff, but... And yeah, maybe some hybrid stuff was added too. Okay, it's fairly large in that direction, honestly. How about... We, with Blizzard Awake, mass driver through this wall. Ah. Uh, dirt wall. Well, we'll probably be able to get through the dirt wall also, honestly. We just gotta try. And Colio, stay there. You guys mind the door. Bintro. B mission b information. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> ah, man. Key bindings. That's okay. Control B. Why control B? Why not just B? Or O? Why control B? Strange. Look at this door. Look, it's clearly like I open downward. Nope. What the hell? Lion set. Who made that? Boy, we're gonna pinch our fingers in that one day, and then guess what? Yeah, you're getting sued. That's how that works, hybrid. That's how lawsuits happen. B stands for briefing. So why control B? Why not just B? Because B does nothing. I don't know. I don't know if we can dig through this, honestly. We'll keep trying. Keep trying. I guess we could also just blast in through this wall and see what happens. I don't know if the cannon can do it or if we need something burlier. Probably need something burlier than that. Leffler can also help dig and burrow through things. B opens bases on Geoscape. Okay, so yeah, sure. Whoa, why? <laughs> Fucking hello? <laughs> Coming through! Burr, burr. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, hi. Fat fucking thing. You're like almost a 3x3 three three tile unit. Jeez. There. That's that. Not that it really saved us a whole lot of time at all. Oh, well. Um, let's... Well, it already moved a bit, so maybe you're okay shooting at it a little. Yeah, largely taking out the wall. 
That's okay. They probably had it coming. And Colio, finish it off. Okay. <laughs> where'd, it, where'd it go? I guess it dissolved. I guess you overkilled it. <laughs> uh, just deleted the damned thing. It was just so noisy, the gun, you know. I get the feeling this mission is supposed to be available a long time ago. When I look at an unarmored hybrid firing at me with a Black Ops SMG with what I hope to be Tritanium ammo, for their sake. But there's no guarantee there's Tritanium ammo loaded in that. Deleted, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Backstabber. So what about this wall? Yeah, also, huh? Alright. Fine. Well, keep digging, because... I don't know. I don't really know if I need you for anything else. Who's got the half-assed mind control? All right, I mean, we're like 80% robots, so good luck. But okay. Damn, it's all dirt. I thought it was really funny the first time I streamed World of Terrifying Silence, we got to Teleth. And the map of Teleth is a little bit different than that one I played. I don't know if it still is. But it was a little bit different. But I just did the standard thing, because we had chainsaws. You can just drill through walls and delete them. Um, so I did this kind of standard thing of just drilling through some walls to find alternate routes, and I accidentally bumped into the penultimate room. Because it's it's quite near where you start. <laughs> so we were, we kind of we kind of speed ran Teleth a little bit because of that. That was fun. It's always a bit risky allowing players to bust in through walls. Because you never know. You never know what they'll find. Okay, so it's this room. Right, gotcha. With a strange line of sight. It's just a... Standard alien base room. Yeah, that's not a door. Okay. So I chose the one wall that I can't shoot through, though. Turns out. That's nice. And originally you blast your bomb through open doors and elevators to the final room. Yeah, I mean, if you know where it is and you can you can hunt through in the shadows with your cursor and you know the general layout and what stuff looks like, yeah, you can absolutely do that. And you can technically do that also in Teleth uh, on the original TFDD. So, you know, just disrupt a pulse launcher through and there you go. Because I think that's a completely open route, I think it is to the, uh, the sarcophagus and just a couple blaster bombs and oh hi and that's enough yeah I thought this wall would be a little 
rougher than that. But I think that might be a door. I don't know. It's the same color. I'm going to say that's the door and we can just go in through that way. We are here to seize your alien gardens and control room. Mm-hmm. Get a little bit of a surround, get a second mini squad of dudes out there. Kingskin control room. What's that shortcut for? <laughs> weird, weird hotkey. I'll tell you, you know, control room. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like you know, control shift sys RQ and you know, right alt pit print screen. The real pro strat key bindings. That that's how we play it. Wait till you see my Dota two key bindings. Oh boy. Uh, look at that, there's a sector down there. Lamb. Wait, you took that? Dude, what? <sighs> no way. No way, your torso was supposed to become jelly. How'd he take that? Step back, Blizzard Lake. It's a, it's a burly sectoid, right, Muratira? <laughs> I thought exactly. Man. <laughs> I think I'll make a shirt of a yeti flexing and I'll just be burly. It's just, that's all it is. Just a flexing yeti with the word burly on it. And maybe like, maybe a really flexy muton in a thong with a lewd written beneath it. And then files in parentheses about that. I don't think you can do damage in the sectoid's dead, so just step around, maybe leaps out at us next turn, we can go out and get him. There's like five more left or so, it seems. It doesn't seem like that complicated of a mission. I reckon this is a mission where there's a ranking of something that's kind of nice to have. Something that you can get fairly early on. I guess the big drones are probably the biggest threat here. But our weapons are just so strong. The sectoid rankings could be something worth... ...stunning at some point, and because it's largely hybrids, it's pretty easy to isolate the sectoid and move on. Mrs. Gink has just pre-ordered two of that shirt. Nice. Wait, the the Muton Thong or the Flexing Yeti? <laughs> or or both. Ah, oh, Nike. You done goofed. Both? Nice. Perfect. <laughs> no, I don't have a store, no. No no Yeti merch. One day maybe. I'd have to find an artist and find a merch site that's actually got decent stuff that isn't a thousand dollars and it's like I don't want to be selling underwear that costs 30 bucks per like that's 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 California money there that's a bit much for underwear because let's be honest the Burly Yeti would be also available as underwear. Hmm. 
This was a first. Your son came into your room telling me that he can't access the internet and has a class. It turns out the router was so confused that you couldn't even access it, not even from wired connections, so you needed to restart it. I haven't noticed anything because stream is perfectly fine. Weird. Our router did something like that one time when it decided randomly just to update itself, which is fucking weird, but it decided to update itself. We still had internet, but nothing could connect to it or talk to it, and we couldn't interact with it for, like, a few hours <laughs> until it was finally done. Because it had to do some sort of a crazy self-check type thing, and... That was odd. Because it's like, why is it just updating itself? <sighs> Weird stuff, man. Let that guy come around. Hybrid panicking. The sectoid, I think that was the only other sectoid we've seen so far. Sounds normal for quality fabric, though with the 24% VAT. Well, I mean, ta I'm talking America money, like, no VAT. But 30 bucks for a pair of underwear? Like, god damn. I think the most I ever spent for underwear was actually just like a couple months ago I bought some. They were like 17 euro, I think. But that's, you know, it's a fairly prominent brand. They're known for being a bit up there in price, but also up there in quality. But at some point you get diminishing returns with that stuff, and it's like, I can't imagine. Like, and for just underwear, and I've seen some shirts that are upwards of 50 bucks for a shirt. Oh, hello, Coleo. Surprise! Hi. A lot of doors up in here. Max you're willing, you're willing. The max you're willing to pay for a t-shirt is 10 euro. I'm a little bit on board with that, because I'm used to buying kind of, like, admittedly cheap clothing, but, eh. Where I could get a, a pack of, a pack of, like, four shirts for, like, 15 bucks? Like, I mean, it's not the greatest quality stuff out there, but it's, it's a shirt. It's, it's okay. So sometimes I'll see I'll see merch stores that some people have and it's like holy shit. <laughs> I I can't imagine anybody spending that much, but apparently people do. I don't know. That robot's still there, or is it on patrol? Or I thought it'd be coming around. I guess not though. Oh, it's just there. And we see through the doors, which is a little bit scary. But if we see through doors, then we can shoot through do shoot through the doors. This is weird. I don't I don't like these doors. I disagree with these doors. Oh, it wasn't the garden in the way, huh? Gotcha. Maybe next turn. Max, you're willing to pay for clothing up to 20 euro and for shirt 5 euro. So even like pants 20 euro for you. I, I, I spend a little bit more on pants because I'm doing I'm doing more with my pants than I am a shirt, you know. Like I'm sitting and standing and crouching and you know, the pants get a little more work. So I'd, I'd be willing to spend maybe, I don't know, 50 bucks for a pair of for a pair of jeans, I think is OK. But sometimes even that stuff gets up to like 90 bucks. 
No thanks. Okay, so that's... That's what that room is. This one's a bit different. Take that guy out next turn. We'll see about finishing off the robot next turn as well. I'm a little bit afraid of the Nike. Oh, Tia reserved? No, gross. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Timing it reserved for kneeling. Fuck out of here with that. Gross! Dude comes walking up to me spitting so much. That's not okay. And you threw a grenade down. Very rude. We're healthy enough to take that. But very rude, man. So what do we got? That's not a door. Is this a door? I don't know. I thought these were doors. They look a bit like a door. Yeah, and that one we've been up to, so we're ready to head down way out here. Yeah, just to double check and make sure it's actually clear. All the windows. Why? I, I want the player to just be fucked over sometimes when they enter this room. Okay. Sure. That, that's what that tells me. And they're, they're just looking for a way for the player to be walking around, minding their own business, and get picked off from some weird angle. So they just made windows everywhere for you to shoot through. Rude. Oh, well, joke's on you, buddy. I'm the one who shoots through windows. And we are, I think, clear up here. Yeah. Moving down. The workers going berserk. Still a lot of them. They ain't doing so hot. I think there's another big robot around somewhere, though. So they're not actually surrendering. have no berserk sound so they must scream or just shoot each other apparently and you can double check these areas somebody was up there and broke that Hey, how you doing, Ruck? Had a lion today? Hey, sometimes that's what you need, man. Sleeping in every once in a while, always a nice thing. And this is just another... Yeah, one of those with the middle elevator? Yeah, middle elevator as well. I guess we could through here come down to help scout that out that works save us a little bit of trouble 
Okay, um, yes. Wow. Also, hello, Blue Jay. How you doing? Aha. Is it you? Are you holding them back? Maybe. We'll find out. 117% straight up missed. People sometimes tell me that it's impossible to miss 100% plus shots. And the only way you can miss them is if you actually didn't have line of sight and you force fired it. But I think that kind of proves it. <laughs> that just, that went right by the guy. It went right by him. It does happen a lot if you take a 100 plus percent shot and there happens to be like a tree or something in the way. Sometimes you, you hit the tree's hitbox instead because it doesn't exactly account for that sort of thing. But man, you can also just straight up miss sometimes. But even if it's like uh, definitely nothing else up here, right? There's no other up. Even if it's like a 200 plus percent shot, you can still miss that. No problem. Now right, look at you, Trissy, just flying over the stuff. Nice. It's a big elevator down there. A lot of panic and berserk, so there's still a robot somewhere. Or at least something that doesn't want to surrender. Leffler out of nowhere! And he's got an RPG. Am I worried? Not really. Ugh. Well, you got like a chrysalid harbored up here or something. What's this room all about? Came out of Leftler Field. Ho! Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Good one. Good one, King Skink. How are we doing for sanity, by the way? A couple of people were pretty low. Helga just hanging out back at back at spawn, just existing. Rollo also. And I just eat the entire bottle because why not? You're going to be injured anyway afterwards, so you may as well, like, super duper fix your uh, sanity. Because then you're maybe only in hospital for a couple days and then doing sensorium stuff for a couple days and then it's done. And 1440p as well. Oh, it's just a fucking GMO crop field again. Man, these hybrids and their GMO crops are growing corn and crap. Oh, I can't believe it. You know, good thing we came in here. Put a stop to this nonsense. All right, that's that. Alien Gardens, Hybrid Control, Circuitry, Alloys, Entertainment, Reproduction, Food, Navigation, Power Sources, and 350 Illyrium 
115. 1,039 points, 25 kills. That many. Three surrendered. Okay. So that wasn't that bad to do. That was... That was nice. That was okay. No problems there. I feel like that's a mission that you'd definitely be doing early on, although the big, the big drones that they've got are pretty scary, honestly. We have the firepower to just rip right through, no problem, but ordinarily they mitigate kind of everything. And... I guess you should have EMP grenades by then, I'd imagine, so maybe that still works out okay, but I think they're even a little bit shielded. Your battleship lost to Barbarian Diplomat in one civ, even if the Diplomat has ze defense zero and battleship had attack of 20, so 2,000% chance to kill. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I love Barbarians in Civ. There was a mod that I had that allowed Barbarians just to never end with, uh, like, the way they spawn and how they get better and stuff. So you see, like, Barbarian Artillery and Barbarian Fighter Planes and... <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun. Man. Although I think naturally they do get up there. I think you can actually get like barbarian artillery. I think normally without any mods. Hey, an alien data slate as well. Alright, so there's that. Any way to get more alien data slates, the better. Because geez, that, that alien grind to get engineers and leaders early on sucks to do. Yeah, control circuitry though. Hey, hybrid recruitment. Oh, hi. You've got my interest. And the rest of that we can sell. Yes. You have 3,200 hours in Civ 5. Holy shit. Not to start any debates or anything, but what's your opinion on Civ 6? Because I know some people who really like Civ 5 don't like Civ 6, and vice versa. And then I think Civ 3, at the time of Civ 5, was like kind of the fan favorite. It used to be like, you either like 3 or you like 5. And then Civ 6 kind of blended them together. But now a lot of people just talk about 5 versus 6, and I guess the people who were playing 3 moved on to one of the others or so. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't played a whole lot of six. A little bit, but not a whole lot. Seemed okay. Are we good now? Yeah, 392 out of 425. No problem there. And it does not count as an alien base. But that's okay. So, research then, a hybrid control circuitry. Also that fire launcher, muton engineer we got. Throw him into the queue as well. Just stuff I want to take a look at. We'll take a little bit off those and go for... the control circuitry, how about? So, as far as this month goes, we got points settled. A battleship heading for Australasia. What am I using for that? Ah, oh, Tormentor, right. Do you want to shoot it down, though? What are you? Advent? Okay, if you want to attack me, then fine. You gotta detect me. Okay, never mind, they're here. Jesus Christ, I thought they had a scout for me first. They're just like, fucking, nope, go! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, good job, Master Driver Defenses! What a joke they are. They're working on New Zealand again, guys. I can't believe it. They never learn. They haven't learned. Damn, no blaster launcher ammo at all. Damn. However... No shrapnel either? Oh, man. Hollow Man the second second. I don't know about you.
generally pulses fine. Maybe we go with yeah, sonic cannons with you guys instead. That's okay. No radar, no radar hunt circle, so it wasn't looking for ships. Glad it's attacking New Zealand, though. Well, looking for ships, no, but still scouting out the base, I guess. I guess that means they didn't have to look for a base either. They still knew. Oh, well. Uh, New Zealand's not really a problem, though. So this hot spot and obviously these. So we've been here before. We've done this before. It said Advent, which means sectoids. So there's that. Okay. So it's a bit hot for Ruck too. Okay. Fine. Upstairs. Nobody. Palomance a second the second. Come on, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, close. Oh. Ah shit, I thought you could move afterwards. That was like actually just enough. Alright, Cav. Uh Womp. Uh, Twilight Dog? <laughs> Oof. There you go. Got him. Nicely done. Okay. Since that did work. Oof. Not great accuracy on Narvicus. Bit of bad luck. But a little bit more, and we can bring it down. Dave, you up for it? Yeah, you got it. Blam. And just mind the friendly fire, try not to shoot out too many lights. Okay, so that's a couple cyber discs down. Ugh, not the best showing for the pulse LMG ever. Oh. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay. Super Kirk will be alright. He's too super to die. Ugh. Man, really. Really not the best. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Pesacatox? Mr. Mr. P. E. Saka talks or so. Hello. Hi. One hello for you. And then dude's upstairs, but I don't think we can get over there to the access, access, access lift, which means this whole corner is a little bit iffy. Hi. <laughs> How'd you manage that? Hey, I doing cranium. Well, we'll get you guys down there and do what we can. 
Not going to not going to be the cleanest lockdown ever, but we'll get there. From Chile, nice. Welcome, welcome. Hello from Germany. That's really everybody here. Ugh. Couple more way down in the corner here. I'll have you work your way across so you can get there in a couple turns. Better than nothing. Or Ove can't really do a whole lot here. Doesn't even have ammo. Well, that's it though. What happened to Clodan? Well, I don't know. Been a while. Could be they can't make the uh, the stream time. Since I think Clodan was a uh, evening watcher, I believe, right? Blam! <laughs> Bam! It's so quiet. Why is it so quiet? Silent Sonic Weapon. Whose idea is that? Ugh. A couple of them there. Hello? Yeah, I think he's behind the wall too much. He's got a launcher though, which is a little bit... Yeah. We'll see what he manages to do. Now, what is the sensorium that we've got? Is that what this crazy thing is? Is this the sensorium? Access lift. No, that wouldn't be that. This is the sensorium with our own flashing lights. That's a sensorium. Nice. <laughs> we got our own little cool light wall things. Nice. Well done, XCOM. You've done it. The truest, most purest of entertainment. Different clouds. Oof. I can actually keep you up there because of the uh, the small launcher guy. Ah, hello. Um, hmm. Watch out for that. Hmm. Forgot the axle sift is right there. Three fatal wounds on freaking moron. We can manage. Don't see him. Yeah, around the corner again. So Phoenix can auto fire down the hallway. Maybe step up a little bit more and try it. Yeah, no, okay. Fine. So, Twilight Duck, clear out our flank a little bit. Because, holy crap, there are a lot of them in this uh, sub pen. Hangar, whatever, garage. And then, Narvicus, it has to be you. 
Nailed it. Barn, yeah. Car barn. A car barn sounds like some sort of crazy used car lot. Crazy Ernie's at it again, yeah? We're coming. That Illyrium, if that's Illyrium, that could really fuck us up here. I hope it's not. It's up to Nightbot to take the dude out if it is. Which... 38 reactions? Probably not. Apollo Man the second, second, second. 56, he's not very well trained. Damn. Cav, a bit too far away. Maybe help out with up there, though. Uh, I mean, 74 reactions on you, but yeah, I think you're also a bit too far away. Okay. Saucer took out both saucers. Took them all up immediately. And it is done. No problem. Engineer panicking, leader going berserk. Hey, you guys are invading the wrong base. Nobody fucks with New Zealand. You guys are lucky I don't have explosives. Tell you what. There's the one advent guy to make it an advent shuttle, I suppose. SMG thing. It still hurt a little bit. Nothing I'm too worried about, though. Oops. Ah, well. Let's keep turning them into ash and vaporizing them. They'll panic eventually. And I suppose you can finally get healed up. Twilight Duck, just stay back. Don't even have armor, man. So working our way across. Pilot mans can't really do anything, I guess just hide. Same with Narvicus, stay safe. New Zealand base defense against Advent, in quotes. Wah! Wow. <laughs> you okay, Carlos? Jeez. Man, yeah, I fucked up the rear, rear, rear armor a little bit, but nothing too wild. Get him out of there. This one's very elusive. Who else do you see? Ah. May as well have tried. That's okay, we don't need the wall. It's fine. Oops. Careful, Cav. Mm. 
Dude, I can't hit this guy. He's bending time and space around him. He's, he's too quick. Get down. Jeez. Yeah, we took out the two cyber discs like right at the very start. And thankfully, it seems like there were just the two. Ah, there's the, uh, uh, command orc. The f yeah, the fitness sectoid, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Be ready for him, ideally with some stun. So, super Krug. After a quick reload, be ready for that. I'm going to back out and try not to annihilate him. Because I do need commanders still. Sectoid commanders, I'm not sure. We haven't gotten credit for researching a commander yet, so maybe re-researching the sighthood commander will do it. But I think there's a few things they can teach us. He's even panicking. That's okay. Rip Ove? Nah, Ove's okay. Ove's here. Is he still just there? It looks like he ran off somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is. You missed! Super Krog. That wasn't very super. Oh. I tried. The idea was there. Uh, Ove did die at some point. Yeah, we, we brought him back though because he's a robot. And I've been just bringing back robots since we can do that nowadays. So, you may have seen that Ove died. If you're looking at the names list. Otherwise, Carlos Carlos panicked. Soldier and the other command. So that's all they've got left, just a soldier and then that guy. Oh, and a, and a cyber disc. Nah. What? Okay, Super Krug. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> Ow. Oh, God, that's painful. <laughs> uh. Yikes. Here, how about we, uh. Let's, let's trade this thing. The guru. Dude, the spread of this is garbage. What? 15% spread? What? It may as well just be a big slug. <laughs> ah, well, alright. Um... 
work on that with this very weird angle. Freaking moron, I think I need you down here. Jeez. Because he could very well pick up his weapon and start firing. Not firing too much, thankfully, but still. More than I'd like. Oof. Oof. See what I mean? More than I'd like. Oh right, the shield's insane, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, shit. Super Krug. Super Krug, that was a little too super. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Weird angle, man, but I don't think it can, uh, I don't think it can hit you there, so... That works out. There's a couple of those. Give you one of these. Good job, Carlos Carlos. Okay. I thought for some reason you were already out of time minutes or so. Ooh. Okay, we got him. He's he's back in action. So we don't have to worry too hard about getting this thing dead. Although now it'd be quite nice because Spider Scrab is in a bit of a spot. Soldier going berserk as well. Don't see where. Probably upstairs somewhere. Uh, good job. Reaction fire with the Pulse LMG is so odd because you can never see the projectile. There. Guru's back up in action. Okay, start checking. Upper areas. Looking promising up here. There's a lot of fire and stuff. Nah. Carlos Carlos! Why? Why you do this? Why do you gotta be like that? Ah! I just like shot right through his armpit. Ah, hey, I had the one the old fashioned. So far, so good today. We did a cool new like advent base type thing, or hybrid base rather. It was kind of cool, like an underground factory or so. That seems to have taught us how to maybe make our own hybrids. And then New Zealand defending themselves against uh, sectoids, which works out quite well, because that's them delivering us a commander, which is kind of cool. I'm liking that. Hey, I do doing, Missouri. Welcome, welcome. Keep the ammo. Small launcher with stun mini bombs. I'll take it. The grenades keep. Electronics keep that. Navigators do nothing, soldiers do nothing, the corpses do nothing, the commander, however, also does nothing anymore except inland commander, which is already researched, but we'll see what happens if I re-research this guy then. Sell that, transfer up to the storage facility, electronics, 
and ammo. And grenades. Concussion cannon clip fine. Grats on Defender. Some of it is the third award for people. <laughs> yeah, New Zealand's been getting picked on. I've been getting a little bit picked on. However, you can work on that guy then. Nice. Another secret clinic. God damn. This one this one is sinister. Um fine. Send out the Raven. Send out Actually probably the exact same crew. How many people are left? Just the robots. That's okay. Robots and Wex. That's fine. Bang. You got two hot dogs, Misery. <gasps> two hot dogs? Wow. What's the, what's the special occasion for two hot dogs, Misery? <laughs> oh, just walk off the ship the first turn. That's fine. They don't really have weapons here. Ah, that's the clinic there. Okay. Well, nice building for us to take and secure, so that's cool. I am a little bit I am a little bit jealous, no, don't <laughs> don't think I'm making fun of you or anything. I am jealous. I, I'd love to have a hot dog, let alone two hot dogs. Or rather, two hot dogs, let alone one hot dog. How about that? That better? Our well English fits just hang out. The rest of ya. I don't think you've got range for it either. But. Just run! Oops. You can, you can smell my jealousy? Oh my god. What a superpower. <laughs> I can smell jealousy. How do you use that to your advantage? Man. I'm jealous. I wish I could smell jealousy, but I'm sure you could have smelled that already. So Leffler and Hop just like camping on top of our cockpit looking out at their rooftop, ready to mow down anybody who shows up, while the rest of us just hit the side of the building and we just, you know, reach and clear out the side or something like that. Alright, we can't shoot over picket fences, what am I thinking? And Wax, the actual pilot of our ship. Okay. I'm surprised we still have Wax. <laughs> a little bit amazed. Is that a plasma grenade? Or just a normal grenade? Probably plasma. Not even plasma. Sup, losers. All right, Fridge Frank. All right. Well done. And once more, right in, right in the butt. Good job. Yeah, we're coming in. Oh my god, worst case scenario. Calm down. Wait for the team. 
And he just goes bursting in through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Fucking hell. Meanwhile, rooftop looking okay. <laughs> Nothing personal. <laughs> well done, Hops. Jalapeno relish? Uh, I've had a relish that had jalapeno in it. But it wasn't like a main ingredient or anything like that. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you could get an angle on that or not. We can't actually step onto the cockpit at all, unfortunately, so... Around we go. I'll take it. I guess I'm more afraid of this guy? I don't know. <laughs> nice teamwork taking out those stairs. Well done, the two of ya. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, awesome. <laughs> uh, next turn, I suppose. Any day away, I lost two of your AI cores permanently, it seems. Uh, I, I don't know. Did you abandon a mission? Because generally you need to have the body with you if you were to abandon a mission. Or it could be that they were overkilled. Their corpse was destroyed or so. Lasers are fun. <laughs> and this whole just general area can be destroyed. That's pretty much why. Dude, worst case scenario has no chill. None. None whatsoever. The chill of worst case scenario. Like, he's just going for it. <laughs> Ripping in through walls, taking direct routes. Doesn't even really need to aim or anything like that. It's just a suggestion, aiming. Whoops. That's, that's fine. Whoops. Hello. Uh. <laughs> Hello, everybody back there. Rich Frank found a couple more, huh? Okay. Um. About here. All right. Yeah, I like how they just turned towards me. They didn't shoot. They just turn toward me like, hey, really? Mm hmm. Yeah, really. Uh, do you actually? Yeah, you don't actually see him. All right, just this guy then. Uncomfortably close to our guy. Nah. Nah. 
nonsense. All right. Yeah, I'd panic too, man. I'd be rage quitting if the aliens were drilling through our walls to get to us. That'd be that'd be garbage. But when you make walls out of paper mache, ugh. And also, when you just stand all cluttered, so even missed shots can completely devastate you. Uh, I mean, you had it, you had it coming, really. Jeez. I still think these are like some of the best tiles. Those are so cool. I don't know what this dude's wearing, but the rest are really cool. <laughs> They're super well done. Alright, so yeah, worst case scenario, heading on up. Look out, everybody. Alright. So, hops. Go for the two of them. Go for the two of them. I meant to make a waypoint, but oh well. That's fine. He had trouble getting through the wall anyway. And yeah, we'll just get you ready to head in then. Get us set up for next turn. I really don't see him. Genuinely. But you... You just... Okay. Oh, they surrendered. Man! They dancing? Yes, dancing. That's what they're doing. It's entertainment. Yes. Dancing. Poor accuracy on Backstabber, man. Well done. No, those we don't rip down. Plasma rifle's what I was thinking of. The rest of that can go. That's all perfectly fine. Okay. So, points this month, I feel like we're pretty well set for. I think we can generally take this month off. Doing pretty okay. We're at like 5,130, I would say. 